folks, my last video, remember this gentleman as the man who taught me everything I knew about Bo Walsh offense. And now we're back. Everything. <laughs> last time I saw you actually was in Calgary. You're right in the middle of the alumni section. Was I? Uh, <laughs> great to see you, Steve. Me too. Quarterbacks in the draft. Who is the best from your opinion and why? Well, Sam Bradford is the best in my opinion. It's a good group. It's a good group. I don't know that we're going to have a lot in the first round like we did in 1983, but we're going to have a lot on the second day. The second and third round are going to be uh, full of quarterbacks, I think. But Sam Bradford, and I know he missed last year, and I know he had the shoulder surgery, but when Dr. Andrews says it's going to be fine, and then you got to say, all right, I get it. You know, he, he operated on Drew Brees and Brett Favre, and they ended up playing well, and so uh, he knows what he's talking about, and, and Sam got more muscle. Um, he played, you know, you say he's raw because he missed his junior year and he played in a, an offense that's uh, not a pro-style attack, okay? But then you work him out, and what I've been told is he's a very smart guy, he's very coachable, 36 Wonderlick. That's pretty wow, smart. That's, pretty good, that's yeah. like you. Thank you. I mean, I'd get him into, that would get him into Cal, all <laughs> Thank right? Thank you, that's right. And so, uh, so he's, he's, he's a guy that's going to learn fast, and he's, and he's got the skills. He's got the arm strength, he's got the smarts, he's got the toughness. He's got what he does for a big guy, though, which is really rare. He throws the ball so well from the run. And when you watch him play as a roll sophomore, outs. yeah, and they yeah. call rollouts to the right, and they get stuck on the right hash, they call rollouts to the left. And he throws spinning to the left very well, very unlike a big guy oftentimes where he's just a pocket passer. No, he can move in that. So he's going to run the West Coast offense uh, for St. Louis, provided they do take him, um, which requires a guy to move sometimes. And I think he can do that. So I, I think he's the franchise quarterback. Now, Jimmy Clausen, yeah. yeah, you know, from Notre Dame, he's going to be a guy that, you know what? His winning percentage at Notre Dame wasn't what you hoped for. You know, you want to have a winning record. No, no. It means that they haven't recruited well enough at Notre Dame. I'm just saying. Right. They right, haven't right, recruited. Right. right. Um, for whatever the reasons. Um, but he's a heck of a player. He's going to be a. He's going to be a good get for somebody. He would be. He would too would be a terrific West Coast offense. Now Charlie Weiss did a nice job developing his skills. You know, and fine tuning them like a pro quarterback. Uh, would would be developed and drilled and practiced in a similar system that's being run in the National Football League. So if, as far as his college career, probably benefited him the best of all these other quarterbacks. Because when you start talking about Colt McCoy mm -hmm. and you start talking about Tim Tebow mm -hmm. and Dan LaFever from Central Michigan, right. they're in the shotgun right. and they're looking at the sidelines for the play and they're running a different offense altogether. They're going to be a little behind in terms of Pretty taking true. a three, five, and seven and play action and movements and keep. So. Uh, but you know what? That's why we practice. That's why we have an off season. You drill it and you teach it and you learn it and these kids will. What about Tim Tebow? Does he fight? Do it again. Who knows, he might be a first round draft choice. Somebody might want him, all right? Mm -hmm. I don't know that. My guess Go. is he's gonna be drafted on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the kid. Yeah. He's done well in high school. He's done well in college. He's done well off the field. He's an A plus in terms of his intangibles. Yeah. And you gotta love that, you want that. If, if you're ever gonna have a face of the organization and a voice of the organization, you wanna have a guy that's a class act, all right? True and true, on and off the field, well, he's it. And so, now, his quarterbacking skills might not be quite uh, a Sam Bradford at this point, or even a Jimmy Clausen. Uh, he's, he's got some things, he's, he's, he's not the pure passer uh, that he, he can be someday. But he's a coachable guy, he's a worker. So you gotta, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, he's gonna learn what he needs to learn. He's functioned well, he's won. Uh, I want him on my football team. I gotta ask you this question because you've been there. You went from Cal to the NFL. Pete Carroll's doing that. What's the first problem he's got to deal with? I mean, from Pete has an advantage up. over some of these other college coaches who have gone just from solely to college mm -hmm. right into the NFL. Ha! Cultural shock, you know. Lou Holtz did it. Howard Schnellenberger went from and all of a sudden it's like it's a different animal, all right? Pete benefits from having been there already. He's not only has he been a head coach, the Patriots and the Jets, he was a heck of an assistant for the 49ers. He was on my staff for the 49ers when I first got there for about three, four weeks, and then then he left, took the head job <laughs> at the Patriots. And you know what? He did a good job at the Patriots. Um, so 
you know, he's going to be fine. The learning curve for a Pete Carroll is is uh, very minimal. He's right there, and and he'll do well. Now, the concern up there is they've got a lot of rebuilding to do. Right. At there, you know, they got to hope that Hasselbeck stays healthy. He's got it back, and that they. But the the good news is that they're in a division that is not all that tough. Let's be quite honest. And they've got two number one draft choices, six and fourteen. They should get a couple starters out of that. Right, and so he can improve his team quickly on, uh, on Thursday night and Friday. Steve, man, it's great to see you. Thanks. You too. Thanks.